Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design these social media icons with a hover effect. So when we hover over any of these icons, we can see that the website name is displayed over here. And if we hover over this icon, we can see that Twitter is displayed over here. And then we have Instagram and YouTube. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called social media icons and I just opened it with VS Code. So let's start by creating an HTML file. So I'll just name it index.html. And let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's also link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and here in the href I'll just type style.css. Now for these icons, we're going to be using Font Awesome icons. So let's get the CDN of Font Awesome. You can just search for Font Awesome 5 CDN and you'll find this website called cdnjs.com. So let's go to the website. And let's copy the link. So I'll just copy this link of all.min.css. Let's click on copy link tag. And let's go back to our HTML. And I'll just paste it over here in the head section. Alright, now let's start with the markup. So here we'll just create a division with the class of social icons container to hold all these icons. So let's create a division with the class of social icons container. Now for each of the icons, I'm going to use an anchor tag so that we can add a link to the icons. So let's create an anchor tag. And here you can go ahead and add the link of your social media page. Alright, now in the anchor tag, I'm going to create a division for the icon and uh, another division for the name. So let's create a division and we'll give it a class of icon and here we will add the icon of Facebook. Now let's go to the official website of Font Awesome. So here I'm in fontawesome.com so let's go over here to options and let's go to icons and let's search for Facebook and here we can see we have this icon called Facebook Square. So we need to have this icon so let's click on this. And let's click on this code to copy it and let's go back over here to this division and paste it over here. Alright now let's open this in the browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see we have the icon displayed over here. And the next thing we need to have is the name. So let's create a division with the class of name. And here I'll just have Facebook. And now we can see we have the icon and the name. All right, now let's copy this anchor tag and I'll just paste it three more times because we need to have three more icons. All right, now let's change the icons and uh, the names. So for the second one, we need to have Twitter. So here instead of Facebook, I'll just type Twitter. And uh, here in the name, I'll just type Twitter. And uh, then we need to have Instagram. So here I'll just type Instagram and even here I'll just type Instagram and then lastly we need to have YouTube so I'll just type YouTube over here and even here we'll just type YouTube. All right now we have all the icons and the text ready and that's it with the HTML. Now let's go to our CSS and let's start styling this. So the first thing we will do is style the container division which is this division with the class of social icons container. So let's type social icons container and uh, let's set the display to flex so that all the icons will be one next to the other so I'll just type display of flex and uh, we will have a gap of 30 pixels between each of the icons and uh, we'll also set the font family to roboto and sans serif and let's also add a margin of 32 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right and we'll also bring it to the center so I'll just type justify content center. Alright now let's style the anchor tags. So inside the anchor tags we have a division with the class of icon and a division with the class of name. Now we want this icon and this name to be one next to the other. So we have to add a display of flex for the anchor tags as well. So here I'll just type social icons container A for the anchor tag and let's type display of flex. And now we can see the icons and the text are one next to the other. We'll also add a gap of 
8 pixels and let's set the size of the icons to 42 pixels and we'll also remove the underline so I'll just tap text decoration none and now we need to decrease the size of the text so here we can see inside the anchor tag we have this division with the class of name so let's target this so here I'll just tap social icons container a dot name and here I'll just tap font size and let's set the font size to 16 pixels all right now we need to bring this text to the center vertically so for that here I'll just type align items to the center all right now the next thing we will do is we will reduce the width of these elements so by default we need to have just the icon displayed so let's set a width let's start with 42 pixels and uh, let's also type overflow hidden so that anything outside this anchor tag will be hidden and it looks all right but let's add a background color and let's see whether we have any extra width so i'll just have background of red and now we can see we have some extra width over here so let's decrease the width a little bit let's try 38 pixels and i think that's the perfect width so let's also add a height of the same value so i'll just have height of 38 pixels and we can see we have a little bit of gap at the bottom so for that we can set the line height to zero and now we can see everything looks all right right now let's remove this background color now let's also add a box shadow so i'll just type box shadow and let's set the values to zero four pixels eight pixels negative two pixels rgba zero 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 and zero point two right now let's add different colors to these icons based on the company so let's go ahead and let's type social icons container a and let's select the first instance so we can just type colon nth of type and we can just type one over here so this will select the first anchor tag so for the first anchor tag we will have a color of 4267b2 this is the color for facebook now let's select the second anchor tag so let's type social icons container a nth of type and let's tap 2 over here and for the second one we will have a color of 1DA1F2 right now I'll just copy these lines of code and I'll just paste it down here and let's change this to 3 and this to 4 and let's change the color of Instagram to E1306C and for YouTube let's change the color to FF0000 all right now the last thing we need to do is uh, display the name when we hover over any of these icons so let's add a hover effect so here i'll just type social icons container a colon hover and when we hover over this we will have a width of let's try 138 pixels let's go to our website and let's hover over one of these icons and we can see that we have the correct width so everything is being displayed correctly now the last thing we need to do is we need to add a smooth transition for the horror effect so here in the anchor tag i'll just type transition and i'll just set it to all 400 milliseconds ease and now if you hover over this we can see we have this smooth transition and i'll also change the font weight to bold for the name so i'll just type font weight and set it to bold and now let's hover over this and we can see everything looks all right so that's basically it for this video we have designed social media icons with horror effect and i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day